When it comes to setting up code signing for your iOS builds, CodeMagic gives you the choice of using automatic code signing or manual code signing. In this video, we'll look at how we can get started using automatic code signing. This video will be relevant for you if you're setting up automatic code signing for your Flutter builds for your iOS devices, and are doing so through the UI and not using YAML. The first thing we'll need to do is sign into App Store Connect. Then click on Users and Access. Next, up the top, click on Keys. If you haven't already done so, you'll need to request access to the App Store Connect API. Now we'll need to generate a new API key for CodeMagic to use. The first thing we do is set a name for our API key that we can use to reference it in App Store Connect. And now we need to associate an access level. If we open up a documentation on the CodeMagic site for iOS code signing and then scroll down to the API key section, we can see that developer or app manager is recommended for the access level. So now let's go ahead and choose the appropriate level of access. After this, we can go ahead and click on generate. And after a short while, we should be able to download our API key from this page. When this is finished, now it's time to head over to CodeMagic in a new tab. Sign in to CodeMagic with your account like you normally would. Now go down the bottom left hand corner of the screen and hover over your user account and then click on user settings. On this page, scroll down to where it has the developer portal option. The first thing we need to do on this page is set up an API key name for our App Store Connect profile. We also need to supply an issuer ID and a key ID, which we can get from that App Store Connect tab. So we click on copy next to the issuer ID and then simply paste that into the CodeMagic page. And again, we do the same thing for the key ID by clicking copy on the CodeMagic API key entry. The last thing for us to do on this page is to supply an API key certificate. This is that file that we downloaded just a few seconds ago. So with all those details supplied, we can now go ahead and click on save. And after a little while, we'll see that that portal integration has been set up correctly. We can also see the green status indicator next to the developer portal item now. Now that we have this connected in CodeMagic, we now need to go to our project and then click on the cog icon to configure it. We then scroll down to the publish option and expand that and then expand the iOS code signing list item. Now it's as simple as choosing the automatic option and then choosing the API key from that drop down menu that we just set up. We can then choose our provisioning profile type and then click on save changes. Once we've done this, we'll see that iOS code signing has been enabled in the UI. So you should be set up with automatic code signing now. If you have any questions, be sure to drop by our Slack channel and also feel free to consult the detailed documentation online on how you can configure iOS code signing for your use case. Thanks for watching.